Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving quadratic equations by factoring. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, 7v squared minus 20, uh, 42 <laughs> equals a negative 35v, and we need to solve this by factoring. <coughs> Excuse me, first thing I need to do is add a 35v to both sides. So I'm going to add a 35v, and I have 7v squared plus a 35v minus 42 equaled to 0. Now from here, I don't want to hop right in just to factor. I see a 7 goes into each one of these numbers, so I'm going to pull that out. If I pull out a 7, I have a v squared here plus a 5v minus a 6 equal to 0. Now we're multiplying this whole thing by 7. So if I divide by 7 to both sides, I'm going to eliminate that, and we have a v squared now plus 5v minus 6 equals, and 0 divided by 7 is 0. So where do we go from here? Well, now we have to factor this. I look at my c value, the negative 6, and I'm thinking what two numbers multiply to be, well, a 6. That's 1 and 6, and 2 and 3. Now, one of them will have to be negative. That's what basically what happens if we have a negative 6. If you multiply one of these together, or these two together, one of them being negative, gives us negative 6. But keep that in mind. So we have to ask ourselves, with a combination with one of the pairs being negative, can we add them together to get our b value, which is a positive 5? And that's really the first two, the 1 and 6. If we make it a negative 1, and we add them together, we get a positive 5. So our two numbers are negative 1 and a positive 6. So factoring this out, v minus 1 times v plus 6 equals 0. And now we have to solve this. So what we do is we set each part now individually equal to 0. v minus 1 equals 0, and v plus 6 equal to 0. And now we solve each one. I add a 1 to both sides, not too bad, and v equals a positive 1. Subtract a 6 to both sides, and v equals a negative 6. And so my two solutions here, I'm going to write as one statement, is v equals a positive 1 and a negative 6, and that is our final answer. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.